round mount and this has the four what we would call our quad mount and it is anchored in with screw anchors that uh, are engineered for the type of soil conditions being used. Now this is an all aluminum as well as galvanized steel structure. So it means it's gonna last for years and years and years for the weather conditions that we have here in Canada. One of the things that I wanna review with you that's really important as a detail is obviously um, the quick adjust angle. So by simply removing and adjusting, we can crank the array up to change the angle as necessary for the winter. So obviously in the winter, we wanna to come to a much steeper angle, 70 degrees, depending on where you're at. And then in the summertime on average, usually we'll be somewhere around 45 degrees. What's important to note about this um, particular mount as well is the galvanization that I mentioned earlier. This makes it extremely weather resistant and robust and will give you years of service. The wire management when you're installing these uh, six panel arrays, it's really important to really make sure that you're using good practices and installing wire clips. So these are stainless steel wire clips. Again, they're not gonna rust. They're not gonna create an issue against the uh, RPVU or what we call the PV wire here. So using good wire management practices keeps the array wiring nice and clean and uniform. As you can see, all of the radiuses on the wires are the same. Coming back over to the left-hand side here, and then the same. And then what we're doing is we're always lining up our panels to ensure that the two home runs, so in this particular case, it's one string of six panels, that they're coming towards the top of the array. And we'll show you another video how that uh, comes together and is combined. So this is just an overview on the quad mount six panel ground mount array, which instead of using a single post design that would anchor say to a bedrock or to... So we can see here, this is a single post design that would be on bedrock or a foundation. Design that would anchor say to a bedrock or to a, um, some type of concrete foundation. This will make it easy to install in areas where you have lots of clay and density, and then we can specify the, sp the specific anchors for that installation. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you've gotten some information that might help you on your project. Again, we'll post a link in the description below, but you can always contact us at raisesolar.ca and um, inquire about your project details. We have different mounting solutions for different terrain and different applications. But this overview here and what you're watching right now is um, basically a time lapse of this installation and some of the features of the product. And it's an excellent design. It functions really well. Uh, we ship them across Canada. Um, it's easy for the DIYer and even the experienced installers to mount. It's extremely sturdy and uh, you're certainly uh, gonna be impressed uh, with the design and the application. Again, uh, we appreciate you tuning in. If you get some value out of this video, please don't forget to hit thumbs up. If um, you have any comments, please post them below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe as we will have uh, more content that we're releasing that's gonna help make renewable energy easy. Again, thank you and uh, we will see you on the next one.